So let's look at a feature in Excel that helps us to change the format of data from one form to another. And in this case, we are looking at this text data. How can we transform it into number data? If you look at the example that we are going to run with, it's a record of sales for the state, Aquaibom. There are five staff who submitted their sales reports for five days. And so we see this. They are all written in a text format. And this cannot be easily analyzed in Excel unless you transform them to a format that you can present them in a tabular uh, structure. So what we are going to do now is we are going to use a feature in Excel to transform this into table. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to copy this onto a spreadsheet. There are three states, okay? This is the first one, Aquibum state. This is yet another one for Biosa state. And then this is another one for River state. So the three of them, we are going to have three different uh, tables. So knowing how to transform your data from a format that it is to a, a different format that you can easily analyze is a key skill that we should understand and it will help us in analyzing data with Excel. So what we are going to do now is we are going to copy this one after the other and put them on a spreadsheet. So right here, I'm going to copy this, control C, and I'm going to open this Excel sheet. This is the um, Excel in Business Data Intelligence training sheet. And I'm going to sheet tab named text to column. So I'm going ahead to press control V. So I've pasted it. So I'm going to do the same thing for the other states. Now you see the way it is pasted. In real, uh, uh, in the actual sense, this were just pasted only in one column. So let me double click here. You will see that this is just one column. So this is in column A. Okay, so what we are going to use is a feature that can come and split this into the respective values. You can see this is the sales for Joan, this is for James, Kenneth, Peter, and Helen, their respective sales. So if you look at each of these uh, values, there are five, which means from seventh to the next five days. So we are going to split this. So let me also go back and then pick the other states. This is for Bielsa, and then I go back over here. Let me paste this here, and then shift, just pick some few lines, rows, skipping some rows to paste the other one. So I have the three states here, all right? So I can go ahead and split this I can do all of them at once. I can put all of them like this at once. But first, let me demonstrate this with this first, and then we can undo, and then try um, handling all of them at once. So we are going to use a feature in Excel called text to column, and that is found in is found under the data tab, right under the data tools we see text to column here. And then it's trying to explain that it's a feature that split a single column of text into multiple columns. So what it means is I can use this feature and split this column. Remember that this is just one column, column A. We are going to split them into multiple columns based on the delimiters that are available in our data that we have selected. So I'm going to 
zoom out again and go over to my text to column I pick that now one thing with Excel is that it would like to suggest or guess for you sometimes it could be right sometimes it could be wrong so right now he has determined that's what he said the text wizard has determined that your data is fixed width no it's delimited so I'm choosing this delimited what are delimiters they are characters that separate your data it could be tab it could be space it could be comma it could be semicolon they separate your data so in our own set we have our data separated by two key things here first is the space so you can see Joanne submitted daily says this sentence that I've just made now contain four words separated by space and then when you come over here we see comma so we have the limiters that are separating our data so we have chosen that so I'm going to click next so I need to identify those delimiters I don't have a tab here so I deselect that I have a comma now just watch over here my data preview see what's going to be happening as I select the delimiters I don't have a semicolon so I have a comma when I put a comma it has inserted columns where we have column uh, commas you can see among these values here we have commas here and so wherever it sees a comma it inserts a column you can see so these are all the data that have been separated by comma again we saw that this we need these values here and we can also check space so that it can pick that because be between the words and this value this says value is a space so i'm going ahead to check space as one of the limiters and it has gone ahead to also insert columns where there are spaces so we are good to go however i'm not going to click finish if i click finish it's going to replace the new uh, data onto where we currently have our original data but i want to paste it in a different um location so i'm going to click next so that i can get the option of choosing my destination where do I want it pasted? So I'm going to collapse this and uh, I'm going to drop it somewhere here. So I will click or let me just give two spaces. It's always a good practice when you're working with table. Always give one or several uh, columns or rows. So I click here and I am good to go. So I'm going to click finish now. And then this has turned to this. Okay. It's it looks so tiny so let me just go ahead and increase the font size okay so by the way let's see the size here this size is 30 and so let's see if we can increase this also to 30 so we are good to go here so you can see what has happened again let me just um, double click okay so you see this has separated our text so what I need to do is here I don't need this what I'm interested is here one two three four five these cells so I'm going ahead to right click and I'm going to delete and I'm going to delete and do what shift these cells towards the left so that they will occupy the space so this is it shift cells left and that covers it right so the next thing I want to do is delete these ones when I delete this one I also want to shift these cells towards the left so that they can close the space here so I right click and choose delete again shift towards the cell left so here I don't want this these are text so I'm again going to select them and delete and move towards the left great so this is my data that I want to use and run analysis. So what I need to do is 
I can just come here, delete these ones, because these are not no longer what we need. But we are interested in this seventh. Okay, we know that seventh June is the beginning because the record starts from seventh June. So I'm going to delete this, and possibly I can come over here and write seventh June twenty two. Right. So, and I continue, and then. Here gives me the fifth day, which is 11th. Okay, so you can see that I have a very clean uh, data now. So all I need to do, because we are preparing uh, data for analysis. And the analysis that we are going to be use, uh, doing is uh, based on pivot table. So we are going to be using pivot table. Okay, so when we come to pivot table, we are going to set, let us know the rules that we need to use when we want to, I mean, the news we need to apply when we want to use pivot table. So right now, I'm going to obey one of those rules. And one of those rules is that it should have headers. Okay, so all these cells should come under a particular column called date. So I should have Joan on this day sold this. Joan on this day sold this, uh, sold this, okay, this. So we are going to use um, a different feature called Power Query. We are going to transform this. But right now, it's important for us to know how this text to column works. All right. So we have set this up. I think it's 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 time for us to do the second one. And like I said, the second one and the third one. And like I said previously, you can highlight all of them and do them at once. Now, let's see how that works. So I'm going to delete this again. I'm going to delete this. And then we are going to pick all of them and see how they work. So starting from here, remember this is still one column, the first column. We are going to apply the same procedure. So having selected this, I come to my data, I come to my text to column. Okay, because I've used this feature before and I selected the limited and that is why it's there. So we are good to go with it. So I click next. Again, because I've used this before and I selected comma and space. So it is there. That's good to go. So the next is for me to define my location. Where do I want it pasted? Again, so let's paste it here and finish so you see everything here has happened on these three different state data all right so what i then need to do is let me just um sorry let me undo that and uh, come over here so these two spaces let me just increase them okay so i have here so what the next thing we need to do is to begin to walk through those procedures of getting this. So I'm deleting this and then I'm shifting towards my left. Remember those were the things we did here. Delete to left. The same thing here, delete here, move to left. So we are good to go with this. So I can just put this like a table because this is not an official table all right so again i delete this i do not i didn't just want to do all of them at once this this um trimming that i'm trying to trim now so that uh, i won't run into unnecessary error all right so these are the things we are going to do left again this looks great. Then I come over here. This is going to the left. Delete, move it to the left here. So one one different one thing that is different between I mean this from the rest is there are six staff here. Now 
there is something that has happened here and that is because um, we have several commas here separating the values so you can see for Hawa for instance we have one thousand and then we have um, sorry one separated from zero to five by a comma here again here again so you need to also be wary about that because sometimes it can mess your procedure up so because you indicated that wherever it sees comma it should put a column and that's why it came here you can see it put a comma it put a space here um, a column here the same thing here that's why you have all this okay so all you need to do is before you apply this look at the places where you have commas are they the right places that you should put your table i mean your columns if not address them before you proceed so here now let me just do something i'm going to delete this and so what i need to do now is unfortunately you have to do this gradually uh, sometimes it's tedious okay so let me just remove um, all the commas where we have them so once you remove that then you are good to go you apply the same thing across then you are good to go so now we are done addressing the comma issue so we are going ahead to apply the same okay so right now it looks good look at the title preview looks good yes it looks good so next now let's select where we want it pasted so we can paste it here okay all right so all we need to do is to go ahead and here is there any figure here okay no figure here so with this left okay So there we go. All our data is good to go now. So I hope you enjoyed this. So go ahead and try them out and let's see how you go or how you feel. Thank you.